Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2018 looking at some of the new features. Now, one of the coolest and most effective features that has been added in 2018 is an auto selection tool. Selection, of course, plays a very big role in Photoshop Elements. And there are a number of tools in the program dedicated to making and refining your selection. But this one makes making a selection pretty easy. If you go to the selection tools here and what tool appears on the panel depends on which one you have selected in the tool options bin. But right here where the quick selection tools are and click on that, you'll see that in addition to things like the selection tool and the selection brush and the magic wand tool, we have a new tool down here at the bottom and that tool is called auto selection. When we click on auto selection, we have a number of options. We can either drag a marquee, either a rectangular or an elliptical marquee. We can create our basic selection using a polygon lasso, or we can just use a freehand lasso. And just to show you how the tool works, first let's try it with the rectangular lasso. I'm just going to click on that. And then all I need to do is just drag a little rectangle around this little boy. Now, the program is going to make its selection based on color differences. So obviously, the more contrast there is between what you're choosing or what you're selecting and what you're not selecting, the better this tool is going to work. I'm just going to let go now of the mouse button. And there's the auto selection. Look at that great job it did selecting the boy. Now, we will have to refine a little bit. We lost a little bit of the finger. We lost a little bit of the helmet. But that's pretty amazing for a starting point based on just a rough outline. Let's deselect, Control D or Command D. And let's just try it with the freehand tool. I'm just going to draw a rough sketch around the little boy. And there it is again. Now we lost a little bit of the helmet. We can add to that. I'm just going to hold down the shift key and just drag again. I don't have to be really precise. Just basically telling the program we want to add the helmet to. And look at that. It has added the helmet to my selection. Let's do that one more time with the hand. I'm going to hold down the shift key. Just drag over this little section of his hand. And when I let go, select a little too much that time. So we can play with this. So I'm going to hold down the alt key or the option key. And now we're getting more precise with our selection. Obviously, whenever you make a selection, you're switching back and forth between selection tools, refining the selection. Maybe you'll even use the Refine Edge tool to get real precise on things like the curls in his hair. And we show you how to do most of that in the book and in various tutorials we have available here at MoviePix.com. Anyway, it's a great tool. It makes making a selection very, very easy well worth checking out and well worth putting to use on a regular basis. Now, if you want to know more about the great tools in this program, I hope you'll check out our many tips and tutorials at MoviePix.com. If you want to know everything about every tool in Photoshop Elements, be sure to check out the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available at Amazon.com and, of course, here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me.